Hi, my friend. Welcome to part two about identifying component functions by reading their codes without schematic. So we have seen all these codes, as you can see here. Now we're gonna go deeper to see them and analyze them in the motherboard and in the schematic. Please, if you are serious about improving your repair skills, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this one and to be part of our family where i have over 1000 friends you are very welcome all links in the description also you gonna find in the description the link for a full article in my website about all what we have discussing in this video so let's begin from the beginning for the ic we have the code could be U, like for this motherboard, or PU. Okay, this is basically the power IC. So we use P for power management. For ICs like charge IC, CPU controller, RAM controller, 3 volt, 5 volt, etc. But for other ICs in the motherboard secondary IC you're gonna find U like this but in some motherboards they use U for all ICs like this motherboard for MOSFETs you can find PQ or simply Q as you can see Q24 Q25 for capacitor we have PC as a code or simply C, C107, PC293, electrolytic capacitor, 10 talum capacitor. For inductor, we have L, L13, L12, asymptot inductor, or you can find PL. Here, another inductor in the input, PL44. For resistors, you can find R resistor, R65. R68 or PR as you can see PR43 PR36 for resistor network we have RN resistor network sometimes you can find R R2 for diode we have D this is diode two terminal diode cathode anode D28 here D27 but sometimes you can find diodes with three terminals D1013, D1011, three terminals. Also here we have D. This is normal diode, not Zener diode. The diode with black mark means a normal diode. Here we have a Zener diode, D1006 with blue mark. But sometimes you can find the diode with code BD11, like this one. So let's pass very quickly to avoid making the video boring video. So H, this is the hole as ground. You can put the black from here. LED, this is LED diode. Here we have PS means power supply LED when you put the adapter. So always DCN for input connector. So PR, a green resistor like this, this is current sense resistor. Oh, do you see? A drifted diode. By the way, this motherboard, this is an operated motherboard with an intermittent failure. So guys, I find this diode by chance. This is why the visual inspection is very important. Okay, so here we have the problem. This motherboard work about three five seconds and then shut down so here we have the problem i can even connect the power adapter and see its failure let's do it right now you see guys we have a drifted diode i will keep it like this i will not touch anything i will keep this drifted diode like this and connect the power ad adapter so here we have the diode here we have the adapter let's connect the adapter right now are you ready guys so the diode the problem that we find using the visual inspection let's connect the adapter and see look to the fun guys
stopped. This is a rare time failure. Here we have the bad diet. Let's zoom in a little bit. Do you see, guys? Here we have the bad diet, a drifted diet, and in the other side we have the fan. Do you see? The fan starts spinning, and after maybe six seconds, stops. As you can see. Nice. And by the way. This diode belongs to the CPU circuit. This is the back of CPU socket. Okay, so here we are in S0 state because it belongs to the CPU circuit. That's why the fan spin about five seconds, six seconds, and then stop because we are in S0 state. So once I repair this diode, the fan will continue spinning without any problem. That's why, guys, I told you, the power state are very important. When the fan start turning 3, 5, 6 seconds, etc., means you have problem in the CPU circuit, or it could be in RAM circuit, because we are in S0 state. But if you put the adapter and the laptop doesn't work at all, means you have problem in the charge circuit, near the adapter, the power jack or the battery connector or in 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. So guys, remember when you have this kind of problem, the fan starts spinning and stops after 5 seconds or when the LED, do you see this LED? When the LED flashes like this means you have problem 90% in the CPU circuit like this kind. We have a drifted diode. So let me please put this diode back to its place and then check if the fan will work normally and also the LED stop flashing. So I will remove the adapter and then reconnect this diode to its place. So guys, we will continue with this coding, but because I find this fairly a bad chance, let's do it right now with you. Now the diode is connected guys, always make sure the cathode here, this white mark means the cathode. For this diode we have over here the cathode, so always for diode because it is polarized like electrolytic capacitor, you have to pay attention to the cathode and anode. Now let's check the motherboard. As I told to you, the diode belongs to the CPU circuit, even here we have the controller. This is the power IC for the CPU circuit and this MOSFET also is for CPU circuit so this diode belongs to CPU circuit. So let's check again. Normally the fan should spin normally. Also the, this LED should be on without flashing. So let's connect the power adapter. And let's see. We have the fan. Good, this is good. So we fix the problem. So let me disconnect the adapter. So guys, we fix the problem. We find this problem just by chance. That's why I told you always, guys, do not, do not ignore the visual inspection. So please, once you get any motherboard, try to do a visual inspection for all components in the motherboard. Big components, smallest one, all components. Because you can find just like this problem, a very hidden simple problem. You can even not use the multimeter on anything, just the soldering iron, and you will fix the problem without no thermal camera, look no voltage injector, no multimeter, nothing. Just your eyes and the soldering iron and you will fix a very tough problem. So right now I will summarize for you this failure. When you get a motherboard and you put the power adapter, nothing hap happened. No light on LEDs. No spinning in the fan. Nothing means you have problem here. Into power adapter, 
adapter circuit or in the charge IC circuit. It could be also here guys we have 3.3 volt we have 3 volt 5 volt circuit over here. Here also could be the cause of no power motherboard or dead motherboard but when you get the fan spins and become start three seconds five seconds if it's three means you have problem with the ram circuit because the ram is the first circuit that gets the power when it becomes five six seconds ten seconds means you have problem with the cpu circuit or even the pc head okay guys or the pch basically the cpu circuit and the pch circuits are on the same place in the motherboard okay i hope that you understand about this failure and also about these power cards that i show to you in the motherboard basically for those f x y let's even say this other codes that we do, we didn't say so for f f basically for fuse so guys do you see here so f is for the fuse it could be pf or f do you see this is the fuse here we have f for fuse c c for these two ceramic capacitors so it could be it could be f or p if here also we have f we have another fuse here so for crystals you can find x or y we have here x5 for this crystal or y as you can see y2 for this crystal here so you can find j for connectors or even cn here we have connector or j for speaker here we have basically pad or this point this one and this one you can find p like this or pad or tp etc so guys i hope that you understand about the motherboard codes and also about this failure that we come across in chance that we resolve in a real time so please if you find this video very useful do not hesitate to like share and put your comments below if you have any question and if you want to accelerate learning you can be one of our community in the Patreon page where I share a very advanced tips, tricks, schematics, videos, exclusive videos, etc. And also if you want to take a look to my website where you gonna also find a very exclusive, to exclusive detailed topics, the link in the description. All links on the description for the website, mentorship for my Facebook group, etc. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.